That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and still welcome all kind. I want to thank a young lady who is totally blind for sending in this video, and the name of the channel is Katie's Eyes, and I need y'all to go check that out, K-A-T-Y apostrophe S, and uh, today she's going to show you how she changes her baby's diaper. Um, it's a very informative, step-by-step -step video that anyone would de could definitely take part in. Uh, learning how to do it if you don't know how to do it, especially for these blind moms out there who um, want to know how the best way to change their diaper. Katie is going to show you how. So y'all stay tuned to the video. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get updates and make sure to like. And if you don't hit that like button, I'm through. I'm done. It's over with. But in meanwhile, check out Katie as she shows you show you how she changes her baby's diaper. You may see, no, I'm not gonna do that. So, Katie, thank you for sending in the video. Using my three-year-old niece's baby doll. Now, when I'm gonna change her diaper, I always have to have everything ready so I know exactly where it is as I'm changing it. So I have her diaper out, the little aquaphor, and I have it open so it's ready, and the wipes. I always have at least two wipes out so I'm ready to grab them. And with the diaper, I know which way is the back because it has the tabs so the tabs always have to face back and what i do is i pick up her little feet to pick up her bottom and i scoot the clean diaper underneath her dirty diaper once of course i have her clothes unbuckled so that way when i take off the dirty one there's already a clean one there in case she has an accident right away so what i do is i unbutton the diaper and then I pick up her feet again and I actually put my hands the, in the back of her knees to kind of help push her bottom up. And I grab a wipey and when she's pooped, what I do is I first wipe from her like bottom all the way back to her back because sometimes um, babies, their poop goes up their back a little bit. So I clean that out first and then when I'm done, I pull out the dirty diaper and I stick the wipey in the dirty diaper. Then I get my next wipey and I repeat the process. So I actually will clean from her, a little bit from her thighs down. I fold the wipey and I'll do it again on the other part of her bottom. Now, because I have a baby girl, what I wanna make sure is, then what I do is I make sure that I clean the area between her private and her thigh. Um, and then the same as above, like right where the diaper is, like her hips area, just in case there's poop there then I put that away and then what I do is I fold the clean diaper up to her and I make sure that the back of the diaper is above her hips then I buckle it I'm really not gonna buckle it because I don't want to waste diapers mothers know that's the struggle of that so I buckle it and all around her thighs there is like a extra flap that you want to make sure you pull out so it is sticking out so I do that on each side and that's how I change her diaper. So a few tips for parents who are visually impaired is when you change your baby's diaper the first few times, ask somebody um, that is sighted to check if you clean them up pretty good. I remember the first few times I did miss some spots. So now that I know those spots that I miss, I make sure I get them next every time I change them. And now I am an expert in changing poopy diapers. Um, and the way that I know if she's either has pee or poop in it is that a diaper the bottom does feel a little smushy when it's peed when she poops obviously I could smell it if there are times that I'm not sure unfortunately I do have to stick my finger in to feel if it's wet now I'm sure there's been times that I've changed a clean diaper but I'd rather be safe than sorry when it comes to leaving a baby in a dirty diaper so that's how I change my baby's diaper. And of course, when she has explosions, sometimes I get some poop on um, my hands and arms, but I feel like that happens for sighted people as well. If there's anything specifically you want to see me do as a mother who is blind, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video because my baby's calling me. Bye, guys.